In this session, we will discuss about fishing attack. Fishing is a technique by which we create a similar web page to the original one with some modification. Then upload it to the hosting and access it from anywhere. Whenever victim access this phishing website and enter sensitive and Confidential information such as username, password, credit card, debit card number, network credential, and more, then it automatically goes to attacker site. This way, one can hack that means get the username and password of Gmail and Facebook. Now, types of phishing Spear phishing attacks. Spear phishing attacks are directed at specific individuals or companies, usually using information specific to the victim that has been gathered to more successfully represent the message as being authentic. Spear phishing email might include references to co-worker or executives at the victim's organization as well as the use of the victim's name, location, or other personal information. Whaling attacks. Whaling attacks are a type of spear phishing attack that specifically targets senior executives within an organization, often with the objective of stealing large sums. Those preparing a spear phishing campaign research their victims in detail to create a more genuine message as using information relevant or specific to a target increases the chance of the attack being successful. A typical whaling attack targets an employee with the ability to authorize payments with the phishing message appearing to be a command for an executive to authorize a large payment to a vendor when, in fact, the payment would be made to the attackers. Farming Farming is a type of phishing that depends on DNS catcher poisoning to redirect users from a legitimate site to a fraudulent one and tricking users into using their login credential to attempt to log into the fraudulent site. Clone phishing attack use previously delivered but legitimate emails that contained either a link or an attachment. Attackers make a copy or clone of the legitimate email replacing one or more link or attached file with malicious links or malware attachment. Voice phishing, voice phishing also known as VC. This is basically a form of phishing that occurs over voice communications media, including voice over IP, view IP, or post plain old telephone service. A typical phishing scam uses speech synthesis software to leave voicemails to notify the victim of suspicious activity in a bank or credit account and solicits the victim to respond to a malicious phone number to verify his identity, thus compromising the victim's account credential. Now I am discussing about phishing technique. Phishing attack depends on more than simply sending an email to victims and hoping that they click on a malicious link or open a malicious attachment, attacker use a number of techniques to entrap their victims. JavaScript can be used to replace a picture of a legitimate URL over a browser's address bar. The URL revealed by hovering over an embedded link can also be changed by using JavaScript. A variety of link manipulation technique to trick victims into clicking on the link 
link manipulation is also often referred to as url hiding and is present in many common types of phishing and used in different ways now i will show you how to perform phishing attack using social engineering toolkit now open terminal and go to the social engineering tool by typing ac toolkit Now go to the option 1, social engineering attacks. Then go to option 2, website attack vector. Now go to option 3, credential harvester attack method. And now go to option 2, site cloner. So IP address for the post pack in harvester or Tabnabing is 192.168.0.101 So basically I am going to host my phishing page on that particular IP address which is my IP address Now enter the URL to clone Now I am going to port the URL www.facebook.com So I am going to create the phishing page of facebook.com Ok, so information will be displayed to you as it arrives below Now, send your URL, hosted URL to the victim machine by using some other kind of social engineering attack. Now, victim open the phishing page in, in his or her machine. one ninety two dot one sixty eight dot zero dot one zero one so it asking for the uh, email and password password now try to login now it will redirect to the actual login page of Facebook and at the same time the credential already go at the attacker site now check from the attacker machine Now where is all the details of the victim machine? Wow, we got the email ID and password. Here is the email ID and here is the password which the victim put at the time of login in the phishing page of Facebook. So this way, by using the phishing attack, a hacker can collect the credential like email ID and password of the victim. Thank you.